What's up, everyone? Happy Thursday. We're back at the lake today, and the sun just popped up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you this some more. Look at that. Look at that. Look in the water. It's clean. Look at that. Hempstead Lake State Park. How pretty is that? This is why we ride at dawn. Look at that. Would you look at that? All right, so we are over here, Hempstead Lake. It's beautiful this morning, 37 degrees, a balmy 37. Uh, it's actually 37 ain't that bad when you ride in the 20s. I think next week, I think I saw a high of 20, I think on Tuesday. Yeah, not looking forward to that one. But uh, yeah, we're over here, we got the bike out. Yesterday I decided to hook up some mud flaps on this bad boy because Every time I ride this thing in the rain, I get covered in mud and water and all that other stuff. And I said, this is pretty stupid. Let's uh, let's put some mud flaps on this thing. So we uh, we rigged the bike up with some uh, makeshift mud flaps there. I should patent that. Anyway, so message of the day. It's Thursday. And uh, weekend's almost here. And uh, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so message of the day. Last night, I had uh, my weekly real estate team meeting. And um, I decided to go back to the basics. And um, a few of my agents, uh, one in particular, says, you know, I got all these friends and they all, you know, know I'm a real estate agent and they just use someone else. The kid just bought a house and used someone else. And I said, that's funny, you know, why would they do that? He goes, yeah, and another one, uh, you know, had to do a rental and use someone else. I said, all right, so. Like, you know, why aren't they using you? What's what's the problem? I was like, you're a nice person. Like, you know, you they know, love, and trust you. What's going on? So we did an evaluation, and we jumped on. I uh, did the whole team. We jumped on everyone's uh, social media, mainly Facebook. And this one's really aimed at the entrepreneurs out there. And for the most part, it doesn't say what they do. If I went on their Facebook, it doesn't say what they do. The about section is blank. There's no website. There's no nothing. Um, if I click on their website and I'm a friend of theirs, I have no idea what they do. And then I realized that this is true for a lot of people. Um, I poked around a little bit, my friends that are entrepreneurs that have their own businesses that, uh, basically in sales, um, I look on their pages and I can't tell what they do. Um, so it brings me to the idea of, um, are we overlooking the basics in life? Are we overlooking the easy stuff in life? It's really easy to jump on Facebook and fill out your bio and fill out your introduction and tell people what you do. It's really easy to put your website on your Facebook. It's really easy to do a post about what you do, uh, that you sell real estate because your friends that know, love, and trust you would most likely rather use you than some random person off a bus stop sign. Um, but if they don't know what you do, how do you expect them to use you? Um, I have a bunch of friends on Facebook, you guys here, that follow me in the morning. I love and trust you all. Um, and that's what we do, right? So social media is an outlet. People get to know us. Um, there's a lot of people that I have friends on Facebook that I've never met in person. Um, they could be across the country or they could be right here in town. A uh, friend of a friend, um, like what they shared, followed them. Um, like what they stand for, uh, just think they're good people. I want to kind of learn more about them, maybe be inspired by them. And you get this big following of Facebook followers. And if they don't know what you do, how do you expect them to use you? If, if they don't, you know, they start to know, love and trust you. Um, I think everyone that follows me here pretty much knows what I stand for. Um, you kind of know who I am. And uh, of course, if you click on the top of my page, you're going to know I'm a real estate agent. So uh, these other people on my team and other friends out there and other businesses, uh, Vinny just jumped on it. Vinny's a home inspector. Um, the people know what you do. If they click on your social media and say, hey, this is a nice guy. He's pretty cool. You know, what's he do? Oh, wow. He's a home inspector. I happen to be buying a home and he's a home inspector and I like what he posts and I like what he stands for. So I'm going to reach out to him because he seems like a good guy and I'd rather use the guy that I know, you know, as a family guy, I know uh, helps out in the community. I know is a good person versus someone off the side of the bus stop. 
So um, if you want to take that even deeper, you know, what things in your life are just right there in front of you that you're overlooking, that the easy buttons that you're missing? Um, what things, um, you know, we all know that if we eat right, um, we get healthy, but a lot of us refuse to eat right. We all know that if we skip McDonald's and we skip the extra 10 drinks and um, we eat right, we get healthy, yet we don't do it. Um, we all know that if we sleep more, you know, get eight hours of sleep, makes us feel better, yet we don't do it. Um, what things in your life are easy to do that you're not doing, that you're overlooking? What's the saying? You can't see the forest through the trees. Um, it's a good one for here. We got the forest around us here. Can't see the forest through the trees because we're overlooking the easy things in our life. It's a thing as simple as posting on Facebook your bio of what you do for a living. Benny jumped on here. You know Benny's a painter. And you know Benny's a good guy and helps out in the community. Um, and he has it on Facebook. You know that, hey, you know what, Benny, I like what he stands for. He's supporting uh, breast cancer awareness. He's doing a lot of great things. He just uh, did a big event at the Malvern Movie Theater. You know, Benny's a great guy. You know what, if you need a painter, are you going to call Benny or are you going to call some guy off the phone book? You know, I'm going to call Benny because I know, love, and trust Benny. And Benny uh, does it right. Benny, you know, does the right job. And you know who Benny is. Um, so sum it all up. Just make sure you're not looking over the easy things in life. Make sure that if you're an entrepreneur, make sure people know what you do. Uh, really simple. Um, if you're having struggles in your life, make sure you're checking the boxes of the easy things. If you're having struggles in your marriage, we'll call it, right? Are you doing the easy things? Are you saying good morning? Are you caring for them? Are you helping them? Are you putting them first? Are you bringing them flowers? Are you uh, doing what they want to do? The easy things, the easy stuff is right there in front of us, yet we overlook it. Don't overlook the easy stuff. It's common sense. We know how to do these things, yet we refuse to do them. We forget to do them. So anyway, here's your message of the day. Don't overlook the easy things, the obvious things. And do the work. All right, there's a beautiful sunrise. Let's jump on prayers. May the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to realize... Uh, Easy things in our life. Help us to realize that uh, the, uh, we know what to do with ourselves. We know what the right things to do, yet we sometimes neglect to do them. Uh, help us to be aware and help us to uh, constantly be in a state of growth and constantly be uh, helping people around us and helping each other grow. We're all in this world together. Amen. So, all right, everyone. So there's your message. Uh, hope that makes sense to you. Don't skip over the easy stuff. The easy stuff is what makes things happen in your business. Just letting people know what you do is the first step to getting business uh, in life. You know, eating right is the first step to health. Going for a bike ride or a walk is the first step to health. Um, do the easy stuff. Do the easy stuff. You know, it may not be so easy. You know, you might have to actually sit down and take a couple minutes and do it. Um, but stuff's obvious. There's so much obvious stuff in all our lives that we're just skipping over. Uh, like I said, in your relationships or your friends and your your spouse, are you are you putting them first? Are you caring about what they need? Um, you know, what else in your in your careers? If you're working for someone, you know, um, are you showing up? Are you doing the work? Uh, are you completing the tasks? Um, do the easy stuff, the obvious stuff. You know, there's so much, so much stuff out there that is just so easy to do and so easy to take care of yet we just neglect it and we procrastinate it and it just doesn't happen so there's your message love you all put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place fire starts fire go inspire someone in the world to do better while you're inspiring yourself at the same time let's jump on this sunset one more time hempstead lake state park if you haven't been down here lately they've been doing a bunch of work over here it is absolutely beautiful Absolutely beautiful. A lot of people have asked me, is it safe down there? Is it safe? Come on now. I'm down here every morning. I've been down here in the evenings. 
lots of great people down here. Hempstead Lake State Park and a uh, beautiful, beautiful spot. So make an effort to uh, do something good for yourself. Come down here, go for a bike ride, come down here, go for a walk, go for a hike. Beautiful spot, plenty of parking over here. There's playgrounds down here. Like I said, you got this beautiful lake. Do something for yourself. Stop, stop getting in the grind. Go have some fun with life. All right, everyone. Have a great day.